Hey y'all, I'm Nick with State of Woodsco and I'm here with Steve, owner of Phantom CNC Systems. And today we are gonna show you how to plumb your rotary vein pumps to your vacuum tables on any of the Phantom CNC machine. So there's so many ways that we can plumb these motors to either work in series or parallel. For my purposes, I wanna run this to where both motors are helping each other all the time and they always come on at the same time. And all I have to do is control my pressure through the valves that are on the front of the machine. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up so that they are working together all the time. You're gonna get a uh, filter system, a canister filter, and this is actually what's gonna clean your air coming into the system. And your air will actually enter the system through this side. This is a bypass valve. This is very, very, very important. So I'm gonna do a quick addendum to this video. The new vacuum pumps from Phantom may not come with a relief valve. It may already have one built into the unit. So what you're simply gonna do is simply use the straight piping, come straight out of the motor, go to your canister filter, and you don't have to worry about putting one of these relief valves in line. Now, I'm gonna reiterate the fact that you don't ever want to adjust anything on these air intake valves. All of the machines are run at the Phantom facilities for 30 minutes to double check and make sure that it's pulling the right amperage loads, the temperatures are correct, and everything setting wise on these units are perfect from the factory. So anytime you adjust this, you're gonna affect a lot of different things with this pump and you can void your warranty if this has been adjusted. This bypass valve has a red arrow on it and that red arrow is showing you the direction of the air. So we want air to go this way we want air to go this way. What this air is for is when your table locks down and you can't move any more air out of that table, then at that point in time, we have to keep these pumps cool. So this is allowing air into the backside of the system. This is saving the life of your pump. There is a spring inside of it and a screw that you can tighten up to get more pressure. Do not do that. We set it for you already. This saves your system. You can literally burn your pump up in an afternoon if you tighten these bypass valves down and you don't let it breathe. On this side, you're gonna have a stainless steel muffler. Now this is called the cool side. This is called the hot side. So everything coming into this side, if you need to use PVC, you need to use plastic, you can use some lower temperature items to move the air. This side is gonna have to be metal. Now you will want to use some metal pipe compound or sealant tape on all of your threads when installing these fittings. Mount the canister filter to the pipe provided and attach your bypass valve to the end. The muffler always is installed on the right side of the motor. This is the hot output from the motor. There's so many ways that you could plumb this airflow into your shop. The easiest way and the way that we're gonna do it is by using this wire enforced flexible waste pipe. So what you're gonna need is a couple of couplings to go from your air filter units to your pipe. And we are gonna just join this by putting a Y on here, bringing both air units in from the air filters and then going into the shop. We can use this flexible wire enforced pipe because this is cold air coming through. We wouldn't want to use this on the exhaust side of things because that's hot air coming from the motors. You can mount your motors inside your shop near the machine or you can mount them outside as long as they are covered by a lean-to or a structure which keeps them out of the weather and elements. The good thing about this 2 inch wire reinforced waste pipe for vacuum plumbing is that it's flexible, cheap, cuttable, and easy to run. You can pick this piping up at any of the big box stores or hardware stores for just a couple dollars per foot. You can cut the piping and add a Y or a T to be able to branch off to each canister filter. Use some rubber couplings from the big box store as well to attach all the fittings together and secure them with pipe clamps. The wire reinforcement prevents it from ever collapsing and the plastic allows it to take any bumps or trauma without letting it crack or break. Here's what completed installation in parallel looks like with these vacuum pumps. Phantom does recommend that you have a licensed electrician help you wire up your CNC and your vacuum pumps to the electrical panel. Now, if you have a working knowledge of electricity and understand the safety concerns surrounding electrical work, then you can do this job fairly easily yourself. Each pump will need its own 220 volt 30 amp breaker and 10 gauge wire running to them. You will need three wire electrical run, two hots and a ground for 220. If you're mounting these pumps outside, it's best to add an outdoor disconnect. You will bring your wires in and the two hot wires will be mounted to the screws on the left side of the box that have connection bars on them. 
Your ground wire will then be mounted to the junction box housing. My suggestion when hardwiring these vacuum pumps to your electrical panel is to either put it on a switch with a contactor or you can wire it up to where you put it on a wireless remote. These wireless remotes are only $24. I did a full YouTube video of this on my personal YouTube channel. There's a link to that right up here.